together. It is the value of helping one another without expecting anything else in return. In any binadang, there will always be a small gathering to celebrate not because of being victorious in an endeavor, but to celebrate that faith and that unconditional love that they have for one another. In difficult times, that faith and that love will make them stronger and stronger and hopeful. Truly, your presence today will remind us of that faith and of that unconditional love to continue to hope as one strong Cordilleran community. To start with our program, let us be one and let, us, let our voice be heard as we stand and sing with pride the national anthem to be led by the EPS for English, Mr. Patricio Tidawaton, to be followed by the singing of the Cordillera hymn, to be conducted by Dr. Jane Claire Y. Pigangay, the EPS for MAPE.
Thank you. May we now settle down? To acknowledge each member of the Cordilleran community who is present today, may I call in the Assistant Regional Director of Deputy Car, Dr. Florante E. Vergara, to do the honor, sir. Our guests for today's activity, Police General, Brigadier General Arwin S. Pagkalinawan, Regional Director, Procor, sir. Our esteemed, intelligent, and motherly Regional Director of DepEd Cordillera Administrative Region, Dr. May B. Eklar, ma'am. The Honorable Mayor of this Municipality of La Trinidad, Honorable May Romeo K. Salda, the representative of the Councillor Chairman, on Chairman Committee on Education, Councillor Vladimir Kayabas, by the name of Miss Adrian Win Latawan. Fire Senior Superintendent Roderick Esteban B. Ramirez, the Regional Director of the Bureau of Fire Protection, Cordillera. Brigadier General Henry M. Doyawen, the Philipp the Philippine of the Philippine Army, 503rd Brigade Commander, 5th Infantry Division, ably represented by Captain Mauricio Kilbas. Jail Senior Superintendent Ronald Lee Nangkael, Regional Director of BJMP ROCAR, represented by Jail Chief Inspector April Ross N. Ayangwa. The Indigenous Peoples Mandatory Representative from the Province of Benguet, Honorable Sario M. Copas. The President of the Federation of the Teachers, Parent Teachers Association, and at the same time, the Executive Director of the Parents Academy, Attorney Ronald Perez. The Representative of the National Association of Secondary School Heads Incorporated, Cordillera Chapter, Principal 2, Daniel D. Peredo. Our gallant officers, men and women from the Philippine National Police, from the BJMP, and from the BFP. Regional Office Chief Education Program Supervisors, Education Program Supervisors, other non-teaching personnel, our Regional Office Dancers, they will portray the first Bendian dance in their uniform this morning together with our visitors. Greetings of a great morning, Cordillera. Good morning. This activity is a very special activity for our partners. And at the same time, a soft launching in preparation for the Indigenous Peoples Month celebration this coming October. And if I may inform that in this activity, our partnership is one of the 17 sustainable development goals for Philippines is a signatory. And it is also imprinted in the DepEd document under DepEd mission to promote and protect the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. 
Other than that, partnerships is also included as one of the two items in the 10-point agenda of our Honorable Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones under item number nine, work with stakeholders and partners within and outside the department on solving education-related problems, issues, and concerns. And number 10, intensify private and public partnerships in the fulfillment of DepEd's vision, mission, and core values. Partnerships has become an important paradigm in delivering and achieving development goals and services. This is the fourth part four of our activity since we started our MOA signing and launching four weeks ago. In partnerships, we can raise more resources and be able to do more for our learners. We can work together to provide the immediate needs of our learners. We can create a community of supporters in scaling up education programs. We can promote the value of education, the value of collaboration, and worthwhile investment in nation building. Because of this, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, this send-off program is a special activity to seal our covenant and commitment for a strong partnership to achieve the call of the Constitution, the Sustainable Development Goal, the Depth Ed Vision Mission, and the 10 point agenda of the department. On behalf, therefore, of the Depth Ed CAR Regional Office family, headed by our Regional Director. Ma'am may be a clear. We welcome you all in this program. Naimbag na agsapa tayo amin kakabsat, it is our bisyo ti pangisurusuro, ti pagsayaatan, ti Cordillera. Thank you, sir. To also welcome us, and at the same time, to introduce later our guest speaker, May we have the Regional Director of DepEdCar, Dr. Maybe Eklar, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Naimbag nga agsapa kada tayo amin. Before I introduce our distinguished uh, guest, please allow me first to express my personal gratitude to him and to all our volunteers and partners in the government and private sectors. The 53rd Infantry Brigade under Brigadier General Henry Duyawen, Procore, Bureau of Fire, CAR through Senior Superintendent Dr. Roderick Esteban B. Ramirez, Senior Superintendent Roland Lee Nang Kael, the Regional Director of BJM uh, Procar, Attorney Roland Perez, our Regional Federated PTA President, Mayor Salda of La Trinidad, Mayor Benjamin Magalong of Baguio City, and our Local Government Unit uh, Chief Executives in the Cordillera Administrative Region, and all other partners who may not be here physically, in this event. Thank you for joining us in these uh, challenging times of delivering basic education to our young Cordillerans. This pandemic has no doubt brought with it the biggest challenge we ever had in the Department of Education. We never expected that such a virus would cause us off guarded and we had to end the previous school year earlier than expected as we likewise brace for the opening of another new challenging school year, for we had only a few months to prepare. But instead of panicking, the best in us, Filipinos, came alive. And we revived the Bayanihan spirit, our Binadang spirit. 
we in the Department of Education turn towards solidarity in ensuring that our children will have access to all learning opportunities that are available so that at the end of this pandemic, our hope is still intact that our children remains to be the pillars of this nation. And indeed, our genuine passion for and on behalf of the almost 400,000 Cordilleran learners, we thank and salute you all for your unselfish efforts and contribution. And at this point, may I have the pleasure and honor to introduce a person whose name is synonymous to excellence in the field of law enforcement. The man of the hour needs no long introduction for his sterling credentials speak highly of him already. Interestingly, his name contains only four letters, but enough to give a gist of who he is. He is, after all, the epitome of professionalism and service. He is a perfect, typical example of quality or class. To him, quality begins on the inside, then works its way out. R. R stands for reputable, a well-respected high-ranking police official. He earned a degree of admiration to the people he is of service. His outstanding reputation alongside led him to rise from the ranks. To name a few, he held the following positions in a span of a decade. Chief of the Intelligence Division of the Directorate for Internal Police Operations in Southern Luzon in 2009. Chief of the CIDG Administrative Resource Management Division in 2010. Chief of the Community Affairs Division of the Directorate for Police Community Operations in 2013. Provincial Director of Pampanga PPO in 2013. Police Attaché in China in 2014, Deputy Regional Director for Operations in 2017, then elevated to Deputy Regional Director for Administration, both at the Pro Corps where he got his star rank, and later he was assigned with the Maritime Group as its Director for eight months until his designation as the Regional Director of Pro Corps Effective February 12, 2020. Evidently, his reputable character transcends to his management style, cautioning his people that reputation is the sum of all images, whether performance or behavior, plus effective communication. We can say that his class is a combination of science and the art of confidence building. W in his name stands for Huiz. A bemedaled police officer that he is, he is extremely clever at what he does. He does not let fear get the be better of him. He believes in the saying, may you always be brave enough to do what you are afraid to do. From over 40 notable medals and counting, he received the Military Merit Award, the AFP Combat Medal, anti dissidents Merit Medal, and Academic Excellence Award as a result of resolute learning evidence by his intensive training courses. Further, his police executive service eligibility and his master in business administration, among others, would certainly inspire us to strive in our own firmament. One of his guiding principles is that 
it is better to be overprepared and underwhelmed than it is to be underprepared and overwhelmed. Sana narinig natin ito bago mag-pandemic, no? Sa DepEd. I stands for incorruptible. This is one trait our respected leader is easily a shoe in. His brand of leadership is definitely or definitely resonates from his principle, ideology, and everything in between. Never has there been a time in his illustrious career that his name was dragged to any controversy. That's a clear markmanship of being incorruptible. At times, he can be a strict disciplinarian, but has the best of intentions for his people. Other times, he is no different from the rest of us. After all, his name is derived from the Germanic name Hariwini, which means army friend. M stands for noble. By noble, we mean nurturing opportunities to become a living, living example. A man who makes every minute a meaningful masterpiece. His traits are truly awe-inspiring. Ethical, moral, righteous, virtuous, name it. Procor family, as they say, is so blessed to have a God-fearing and family-oriented servant leader. His Christian faith is next to none, and that makes him a noble example, not only to the men and women in uniform, but also the, the, to the community as well. But there are still a lot uh, there are still a lot more to say about our guest and wonder why there's an apostrophe in his name. Sabi ko, Arwin. Siguro nung pinanganak si General, sabi ko, ah, panalo tayo, sabi ng kanyang mga magulang, Arwin. No? Okay, so, magtataka ka, no? R and then win. So there's an apostrophe. Yes, he is a prized possession to none. No other than his equally honorable wife, Miss Pia Ontiveros, pagkalinawan. Ah, sabi ng iba. An outstanding, of course, we know, no? Ma'am Pia, an outstanding and prominent broadcast journalist and news anchor. Their handcuffed marriage is blessed with four children, three sons, and a daughter. Their greatest badge of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest accolade we can give our regional director is to honor him with our most sincere applause and our silence when he begins to speak. Siguro naman, wala na magkukwento dyan, magkakalayo tayo, no? A proud member of PMA Class Maringal of 1988, ladies and gentlemen, Police Brigadier General Arwin Santa Ana Pagkalinawan. Good morning to all of you. Kindly please be seated. So, uh, let me greet uh, each one of uh, our VIPs here, uh, led by, of course, my good friend since 2017, no, dumating ho sa Cordillera, Honorable Romeo K. Salda, Mayor of La Trinidad. Gandang uh, umaga of course, our uh, DepEd, RD, Ma'am, May, Eklar, thank you very much for the invitation. And Dr. Florante Vergara, who always texts me every time na uwi siya na Tugigaraw para to make sure na hindi siya ma-checkpoint. Baka mamaya hindi siya makilala, eh, ikulong bigla siya. Uh, Dr. Vergara. Uh, at ang ati pong si IP mandatory representative si Honorable Sario Copas, Mr. Daniel Paredo, representative National Association of Public Secondary School Heads, Attorney Ronald Perez, Regional uh, President, Presence Academy, uh, Colonel Baldwin Sokoken, Benguet PPO, 
siya ng S5. Nandito, okay. Si Colonel Marshall Paed, Deputy Arcad. Sa aking, uh, sa Procor po yan. Si Jail Chief Inspector April Rose Ayangwa, representing BJMP Cordillera. Nagkikwento uh, siya sa akin kanina na meron palang volcano sa Paracelis na hindi ko pa nakikita. Dahil yung ugali ko every Monday flag racing, I would go out to the provinces not only to see my men and have a flag racing ceremony with them, but immediately after, maghahanap agad ako ng tourist spot sa lugar na yun. Ngayon, may project na ako. Yung small volcano, kung alam niyo yun. Mayroong small volcano spewing gray ash sa Paracelis. Maliit lang, nasa ground lang. Pero hindi alam ng mga turista yun because it's not yung uh, usual beaten path. Captain Mauricio Kilbas is the representative of my, my classmate, 5 authored Commander General Henry Diawen. Morning. Si Senior Fire Officer 1, Leo Mendoza, rep of uh, BFB CAR. You know, yung, R, yung uh, fire chief niyo, classmate ko sa OSEC yan. Kaya ano, kaya miss, kaya, mga classmate ko sa OSEC, mga jail at saka mga fire. Kaya alam ko how we work. Um, madaling, uh, madali kaming, alam ko na how to work with them ever since. Dahil during the time na nag-OSEC kami, nagkaroon yung Bikutan Siege. Doon mo makikita sa TV yung participation ng jail, fire at saka police. Nagko-cooperate sila. Timing naman na nag oosik kami, kaya ang ganda talaga ng experience na yun when I was training for uh, Officer Senior Executive Course. Rep, uh, Reverend Father Mario Tambik, thank you for your sermon. Reverend Father Joseph Dawang also. And, uh, uh, yun lang ba? Okay. And the representatives. You have representatives. Meron ba tayo mga representatives of uh, others? Representative ni Mia. Uh, magalong, magandang uh, waga sa'yo. Anyway, um, thank you for this special in this, uh, invitation. Um, it is my privilege to join all of you today in this volunteers send-off program with the theme Binadang Apinatigger Ti pamati ayat ken nam nama. Pagtutulungan na pag, pinagtibay ng pananalig, pagmamahal at pag-asa, which aims to provide avenue to express our words of hope and blessings to para teachers who are setting out on the delivery of distance learning packets. I'm reminded of my three surrenderies last week sa, sa Procor. Uh, tatlo po sila, age 22. They've been recruited uh, in the NPA when they were 12 years old. Simply because nagahanap sila ng libring education. And yun yung in-offer sa kanila dyan sa bundok. They were offered free education. They were deceived by the Uh, communist-run organizations, youth organizations of Mountain Province and uh, Kalinga youth organizations na makakaliwa. They were simply told, sumama ka sa amin and we will educate you. But true enough, they were educated with the ills of the government but somehow they were uh, they were taught how to bear arms to fight to become rebels and eventually regular NPAs. They've seen so many deaths in their lifetime to the extent that hindi ata nila na-experience maging teenager na maging teenager upang mag-enjoy at makasama sa regular schools, public schools like this. So, once again, the spirit of volunteerism bring us together for a cause with our desire to help the Department of Education. Looking back when the COVID-19 pandemic shocked the world, a tsunami of change has greatly impacted 
in every facet and sector of society, including the lives of our children, parents, teachers. I believe that every parent then was anxious as to how his children would finish the final grading of the school year 2019 to 2020. Fortunately, Cordillera region is a place of people with strong spirit who despite all emergencies would remain cohesive. And through the apparent resilient spirit of volunteerism, somehow we deliberately defeated the virus and managed to heal as one. And now we are slowly embracing this new normal way of life. So ano pong ginagawa ngayon ng mga NPAs during the time of COVID? Uh, it was sad, we sad to note that uh, about two months ago, we monitored new volunteers who went up the mountain na upang mag-NPA. Dahil uh, ang mga NPA bumababa na sa mga bahay. Dahil doon sila sumupunta sa mga bahay upang kumain at naaabutan nila doon yung mga bata. Yung mga bata po ay hindi na po mapasok sa eskwelahan at yung mga bata ay gigil na gigil, lumabas ng, ng bahay niya upang maggala. Kaya naisipan na lang nila, mag-NPA na lang ako para makalabas ako din sa bahay. Para hindi ko nakikita yung tatay ko, para hindi, hindi na ako ninanag ng nanay ko, I will just join the NPA. Yun ang nangyayari ngayon. Kaya we can monitor recruits, new recruits na umakit ng bundok dahil sa COVID. Therefore, there must be something wrong with the basic family structure of the community, which is the family. Siguro yung babae, minomolestya siya ng kamag-anak niya, kapitbahay niya, pinsan niya, kaya sabi niya sa sarili niya, mag-NPA na lang ako. Siguro si lalaki, parati siyang pinapagalitan ng tatay niya, kaya sinasabi niya na mag-NPA na lang ako. So yun ho yung target natin dito. Dahil all of us here, interagencies, are now para volunteers, para teachers for this activity. We will learn to discover that uh, we need to uh, really talk with the families, lalo na po sa mga malalayong lugar. Nobody can ever tell when this pandemic will end. But at this point in time, I salute all teachers for exerting effort to respond to the challenge brought by this challenging situation by developing a range of options that will provide resources to support home learning and opportunities for the students to learn online. We all know that you have done a lot of measures on how to assess every family's capacity for virtual learning, especially those in remote areas who cannot access the internet. You have provided additional support required for children with complex learning needs by seeking ways on how to keep students connected with their teachers, such as this, the delivery of distance learning packets. Again, uh, way back in 2017, when I arrived in Cordillera, there were three katutubos, manobos, youth, tatlo po siya, from Bukidnon. They were who surrendered to uh, uh, Ifugao Provincial Police Office. Mga 17 years old po sila. They were recruited from Bukidnon. They were promised jobs in Manila. So pagdating sa Manila, nag rally, -rally sila. Mga tatlong araw sila nag -rally sa Manila. And then, after down, dinala na sila sa Cordillera. So, ang style po talaga ng NPA is nilalayo po yung bata sa pamilya para hindi agad siya makabalik sa kanyang comfort zone, which is the home. So, ganun din ginagawa ho dito. Nangyari na ho yan. Taga Cordillera, dinala sa, sa Leyte para hindi siya umuwi ka agad. Wala siyang chance na maalala yung parents niya dahil sineseparate talaga nila. So, yun po yung distance learning ng NPA, ang naalam ng NPA, na ilalayo ka sa pamilya upang hindi mo mag-isip na bumalik sa kanila. 
So the PNP is always here to support your programs. Let us create new environment of shared learning, respect, and cooperation among various schools toward improving the quality of education here in Cordillera. We will transport those self-learning modules to the students, especially to those without access to online class in remote areas, and also retrieve the modules at the same time. We all know that we lack teachers, especially in far-flung areas who really need assistance, which your PNP is addressing. We have teachers in our ranks who are being utilized as lecturers or teachers through our blended learning approach as part of our Pulisco Teacher Go initiative. As your partners, we are always ready to share information in the field of concerning peace and order, campaign against illegal drugs, safety tips, and provide security to places of convergence. Transportation hubs and learning institutions to protect students, teachers, and parents from criminal elements. So we really need more communication from responsible teachers and these volunteers. Wag na po sana yung mga ACT teachers. Association of Concerned Teachers who recruit, identify students and lead them astray to the, towards the NPA. Yun na po sana. Nakikiusap ako, tama na po yung may mga teachers po tayo na nagbibigay ng lecture sa ating mga kabataan, lalo na sa UP. Magbibigay siya ng essay. Kapag ka ang essay ng estudyante ay mal very uh, boisterous or very uh, fluent siya about uh, uh, writing and saying bad things about the government, mataas ang grado. Kapag ka hindi siya, uh, hindi siya gaano lumalaban doon sa kanyang essay uh, against the government, mababa ang grade. And eventually, itong matataas ang grado, siya po yung na-identify. Siya po yung uh, na-identify upang ma-recruit ng kabataang makabayan uh, in the guise of the League of the Filipino Students. So, nare-recruit na po sila. So, imbis na mag-aaral ang bata, wala nang gagawin kundi mag -rally. kasi mataas ang grade niya kapag nag rally siya. So, yun yung tatawag na nangyayari yun. To continue, we also undertake other activities and operations, including implementation of security plan, attending coordinating meetings with DepEd, LGUs, PTA, volunteer groups, and stakeholders to carry out public safety services. Conduct assessment on the security and safety operations for DepEd personnel who will also deliver printed and digital modules to hard-to-reach areas. The COVID-19 pandemic is really a huge challenge to education systems. But with our voluntarism, unity, and teamwork, which is the heart of great achievement, we can achieve our goal. So let us empower ourselves with a weapon of knowledge and let us shield ourselves with the unity and togetherness. Because only unity and togetherness prove that we need each other to make life easier and to enjoy it all together. I remember Father giving the sermon of Cordillerans, this characteristic of the Cordillerans to help each other in times of need. Magko-contribute ang buong community to help someone. All interagencies and all agencies present here today are here to support DepEd with all your concerns. Let us trust to support that Executive Order 70 and the National Task Force on to end local communist movement activities have to offer to our children. All agencies here are ready to become volunteers for DepEd to make sure the children are led to the righteous way, culture, and tradition of the Cordillera. Thank you, and have a blessed day ahead. Thank you, sir. Again, may we give a warm applause to Police General Arwin Pagkalinawan.
One of the highlights of this program is the symbolic turning over of learning packets to our partners. To lead in the turning over of the learning packets to our partners, on behalf of DepEdCar, may we have the Regional Director, Dr. May Eklar, together with Assistant Regional Director, Dr. Florante Vergara. To lead in the acceptance of learning packets on behalf of our partner, May we have the Regional Director of Procore, Police General Arwin Pagkalinawan, together with the Regional Director of BFP ROCAR representatives, the LGU officials of Baguio City in Municipality of La Trinidad, and of course, the Regional President of Parents Academy, Attorney Ronald Perez. To facilitate the turning over, May we request all our officials on stage to form two parallel lines, one line for the DepEdCar officials and one line for our partner agency officials. Same is true with our partner volunteers and DepEdCar RO personnel who are on the ground. Kindly form four parallel lines. The outer two lines are for the DepEdCar RO personnel and the two inner lines are for our partner volunteers. May we observe physical distancing in our formations. Before we start with the symbolic turning over of the Pacts, may we request the treasurer of the National Association of Public Schools, School Second, uh, Secondary School Heads Incorporated Car Chapter, Mr. Daniel Peredo, for the reading of the acknowledgement of volunteers. This is how we do the turning over. While Mr. Peredo is reading the acknowledgement of volunteers, the DepEd Car RO officials and personnel will also start handing over the learning packets to our partner volunteers. By the way, our partner volunteers will be receiving tokens, a symbol for the learning packets. Again, may we call in Mr. Peredo for the reading of the acknowledgement of volunteers, sir. To our esteemed volunteers, on behalf of the public schools here in the Department of Education, Cordillera Administrative Region, represented by 1,537 elementary, 311 secondary schools, and 744 community learning centers. Utmost gratitude is bestowed to you for the immediate response to our request for assistance. With these tokens are our fervent wishes for your good health and for more blessings in your journey as you continue delivering the needed service for all communities and stakeholders in the Cordillera Administrative Region. With these two are our prayers that your countless efforts be multiplied and replicated by the learners whose lives you will be able to touch through this partnership. Again, our deepest gratitude. Thank you, Sir Peredo, and to all volunteers. Everybody, once again, may we have a resounding clap for the successful symbolic turning over of the learning packets to our partner volunteers. Thank you so much. To continue, may we request all our partner agencies to remain standing. May we request all our partner agencies to remain standing for the recitation of the Creed of Voluntarism, which will serve as our guiding light in the execution of our duty as volunteers. To lead in the recitation of the Creed of Voluntarism, may I call the Regional President of the Parents Academy, Attorney Ronald Perez, to do honor, sir.
Good morning to each and every one of us. Let us all recite the Volunteers' Creed. All together, I believe the time for learning must continue. And though treasures seem so few, putting efforts all together will erase worries and fears anew. I believe that talents are a bounty, though mine may not be hefty. The love in my heart is heavy, hands that are kept so busy. For October 5 is coming nearly to the Cordilleran learners, I, I volunteer. volunteer. My, my time, time, talent, my time. and treasure, this come without measure. For the benefit of your future, my only wish and fervent desire is for you to learn well and be inspired. <laughs> Thank you so much, Attorney Ronald Perez. And to all parents and volunteers, again, may we give a warm applause to all our partner volunteers. Today, we also launch a project that will showcase the adherence of DepEd CAR to the required health standards and to give us an overview and to launch this project safe working and learning space May I call in Sir Joraloy Palauay, the Public Affairs Officer of DepEdCar, sir. Uh, may we all be seated. Allow me to uh, dispense with the usual courtesy of naming one by one our dignitaries here in front since they have been acknowledged several times a while ago. It is uh, a most privilege to uh, present to you another project of DepiCar, which entails partnership or binadang. The project safe working and learning spaces. Handang paralan, ligtas na kinabukasan. Now, this project Safe Working Learning Spaces, as I have mentioned a while ago, is another effort that needs partnership between and among education stakeholders to ensure that we adhere to the required health standards in our schools and our DepEd offices. It is an advocacy project of DepEd CAR which puts emphasis and unifies the efforts of DepEd offices and schools in adhering to the required health standards. It also aims to showcase such efforts and initiatives through various media. It is also a call to all education stakeholders to ensure that distance learning delivery redounds not only to learning continuity, but likewise to the health and safety of learners and debit car personnel. It anchors, ladies and gentlemen, on Deped Order 14 Series 2020 or the guidelines on the required health standards in basic education offices and schools, Regional Memo Number 263 Series 2020, titled Reminders on the Standards for COVID-19 Mitigation in the workplaces or offices and school settings, and other policies on health from the IATF and WHO. It compels health personnel in Deped Car, the DRM coordinators, and information officers in the different governance levels to conduct and find ways to bring across to all stakeholders the importance of adhering to the required health standards as we journey towards the new normal. This project will feature activities or efforts such as 
but not limited to the following. Orientation of personnel, learners, and parents via different media. Social media, fora, webinars, or even learning action cells that the schools usually conduct during uh, the gathering of teachers and their school heads. It will be uh, featuring also contextualized IEC materials SOCMED, for SOCMED and print. It will also feature monitoring and evaluation through our Oplan Balik Escuela and all throughout the year or school year. It will also have school visits and of course uh, partnerships with stakeholders such as our partners from the uniform personnel. This global health crisis has pushed us to adapt to the sudden changes in our homes, like our schools and offices, that they should be safe havens. Our workplace and learning venues should set the example of adhering to existing policies to ensure the health and safety of everybody as we continue the delivery of basic education. Ladies and gentlemen, through our regional director, Ma May Klar, Assistant Regional Director, Sir Florante Vergara, Handang Paralan, Ligtas na Kinabukasan, or Project Safe Working and Learning Spaces. Okay, so thank you so much. That Project Safe Working and Learning Space of DepEd Car. At this point in time, we are going to witness a community dance presentation, which DepEd Car RO personnel has prepared for us. This is also one of the highlights of this program. While the RO personnel are preparing, may we have Dr. Sasha Joseph Daganos to give us an overview of the presentation. Culture is an integral part of human existence. It is inherent and woven into being human. It plays a significant role in the study and understanding of one's identity and past. It is an inheritance from our ancestors 
to be cared for and developed for the generations, such as oral traditions and knowledge systems, dance, song, language, and material culture. For the indigenous peoples, culture is the very wellspring of their identity. Today, in an increasingly globalized world, protecting and preserving the cultural heritage of indigenous peoples and the struggle to maintain cultural identity in the face of development and modernization brought many challenges for various indigenous cultural communities in the Cordilleras. Ladies and gentlemen, the keys to keeping the cultural heritage sustainable, resilient, and accessible are education, communication, and collaboration. The indigenous dance you are about to witness is called the Bendian dance. Bendian is a circle dance of the Ibalois, which originated in the land of century-old mummies, Kabayan Benguet. This was a long known as a dance to celebrate the arrival of successful headhunters. The circular movements of the dance symbolize unity and harmony among the Ibalois. The Bendian dance was performed in the olden times for healing, usually initiated by an ailing wealthy person in the community. Part of this celebration is an offering of a head or an enemy to appease the gods. This decision of offering a head usually comes from a mambunong who is believed to have the power to intercede with the spirits. After the successful head-taking activity as part of the ritual, the community would celebrate a victory. Thus, the associated term for Bindian as a victory dance. Today, Bindian is performed to have a successful and prosperous harvest or agricultural prosperity after a few months of having low production and is a mean medium for cultural appreciation and tourism promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the Deaf Ed Car RO personnel in their Benjen dance. Once again, may we give the Benjamin Dancers of Deaf Ed Car Regional Office a warm applause. Panga! Kinitangan! Pinaspakan!
demikian Salawa sao Inusungan Inodian Pinajusan Inabaya May we request our uh, stakeholders to please prepare because you are supposed to be dancing the second round of the Bendian. Uh, we are so fortunate to have with us our uh, Honorable Mayor of the Municipality of La Trinidad, who's from Benguet, the Honorable uh, Romeo Salda, and of course, our uh, Indigenous Peoples Mandatory Representative of the Province of Benguet, who's also from Benguet, uh, Sir Sario Copas. Okay, so may we request our partner stakeholders, all our officials on stage, to join in the community dance. May we observe physical distancing in our community to dance. We would like to include all our partner stakeholders to join us in our community dance.
Kini tangan. Pinas pekan. Kinikian Salawasaw Inusungan Uwag Inodian Uwag Pinachisan Inapaya
Okay, so thank you so much to all our partner stakeholders for your participation. May we request all our partner volunteers to stay on the ground and form lines. Now we are to close our program and to lead us in the final blessing of our partner volunteers and to lead us into a closing prayer. May we have the IP mandatory representative of Benguet, Honorable Sario Copas. And let's join me in an indigenous closing prayer. I'll do it in one of the ethno ethnographic uh, group of the Kalangwias. Ama wada daya. Muka ga kami oh dongan Nia me na magniman Ai ho ta aboh panggos to ammo Ega to nabo ipan pa no anto It simply means we ask you who is in heaven to look down upon us that your will shall be done on everything that we do on earth thank you Thank you, Honorable Sario Copas, and thank you to everyone for joining us this morning. And let this celebration remind us of our binadang and our oneness as a Cordilleran community. Thank you to one and all. Iyaman, uh, Sir Brian, that's the end of part one of today's event. May we then ask our dignitaries, dignitaries to go back on stage for the press briefing. We have with us some friends from the media and they would really like to uh, ask uh, questions regarding our partnership for our endeavor for this coming school year. So aside from our dignitaries, when we call on stage uh, Mom Carmel Meris, the Chief for Curriculum and Learning Management Division, We also have uh, Dr. Angeline Calatan, if she's around, to join us. May we then ask our uh, staff here in the regional office to uh, set up our cameras on stage for the press briefing. Just, uh, just give us a few minutes to uh, prepare our setup for the press briefing. Anyway, uh, let's take this break uh, as an opportunity to rest kasi nakakapagod yung kan kanina, yung ating uh, Benjen Dan.